Thanks for tuning in. You're watching Christian Adventure Gamer. I'm your host, Daniel the Paladin. Thank you for joining us on December 18th as we go through the Advent Calendar, the Hunt for the Golden Book. Let's go ahead and just jump right in. All right, so here's our storybook, our help uh, guide, or instruction booklet. Hopefully I don't have to get into this. That would be great if I didn't. All right, so 18 of December. There's nothing on the back of the page, so that's always promising. Um, here is what it looks like. It's another Y. Here's our trusty, trusty decoder. Uh, you can barely believe it. Now you are clearly in ancient Egypt. You enter the burial chamber of a pharaoh. Yet again, that strange feeling of deja vu overcomes you. It is as if you n have been here before. But how would that ha be possible? Maybe it's maybe in a previous life. Perhaps this place just reminds you strongly of pictures that you have seen, of descriptions that you have read. Again and again, it seems to you that the places which the thief visits are not chosen entirely at random. Uh, you shrug your shoulders. It could just as well be that your strange feeling is a simple side effect of time travel. Besides, brooding is of no use to you in your mission. You look around curiously. It doesn't smell as musty as you would have expected from a burial chamber. The golden sarcophagus and the many hieroglyphics that decorate the walls meet your expectations. Even the artistically crafted figure of a large scarab on the ceiling fits your mental image. You step closer to the sarcophagus and trip over something on the ground. Open door 18 now. Behind you'll find one riddle card in, three strange items, keys. Uh... 18 all the way up here so let's do that all right so there's let me get out there we go so ooh, we got three keys here and looks like they have little holes in them they're all each different. Okay. Uh, I'll look inside the room first. Sarcophagus. Hieroglyphics. Mm. More yeah, pictures of hieroglyphics. There's some kind of code on the ceiling with a scarab. that code. So I actually have uh, some sticky notes here. Let's see if I can draw that out. In this tomb, you can see wondrous art from history. The ceilings holds the riddle clue, but there's a hint eluding you. A elu hint eluding you is bold. Oops. Hint eluding you. Alright, so that's the first part of the, the riddle. A master found the code you seek and took it home something this week. Without the hint, you can't begin. You'll just have to visit him. You left three keys. So key is highlighted. Or bold. When he left three keys when here before they'll unlock his room's door his room uh, and when you understand the keys you, your next move is sure to please if you find the clue remainder you'll escape this pharaoh's chamber All right, so was there any keys uh, in the book anywhere in the box I mean 
So we have three keys here. So pulling up here doesn't seem to do anything. So we have elude something that's eluding. Uh, so that's something that could be missing, something that could be escaping. Um, we have keys, we have his room. In this tomb, you can see wonders art from history. The ceiling holds a riddle clue, but there's a hint eluding you. All right, so let's go ahead and take these to the ceiling. Obviously, no place to stick a key. So, I wonder if, like, putting the keys in a certain location helps reveal a number or something. Well, that could be a two. Somewhere down two, because I think there might be a two in it, if, if that is the case. So then let's try this one. Possibly a three. It looks like that's an F. F's not going to help. All right, so let's try it again. In this tomb, you can see wondrous scars from history. Okay, Master found the code you seek and took it home. Something this week. Without the hint, you can't begin, so you'll just have to visit him. <clears throat> I don't think there's any clues in Sherlock Holmes. But let's say we go back to the book and we look at the letters that are here. We have B and P. There's no B listed on the scarab. But we have an N and a P. B and P is a possible clue because we have B and P on the cards. <clears throat> what else do we see here? Hmm. There's a room here, the bank. I don't know if that's a clue or not. There could be keys at the bank. Uh, the bank was like the second or third one, I think. So there's a three. Nope. There we go. I don't see any place to put a key in here. So let's stick to the room that we're in. I think it has to do with something in the ceiling. So I go this way. And I do it here like this. Alright. Alright, well I'm going to need to use a clue. So we are on the 18th. Uh, did you see the exciting maze of paths on the ceiling? of this ancient furrow's burial chamber. At the moment, there is not much you can do with it. First, you have to find something else. Another location, perhaps? According to Riddle Card N, the keys show you the way there. 
So investigate them thoroughly first. The key the key wards have an interesting shape, don't they? You'll find you'll need riddle card in three strange items, keys, room eighteen, and then and another room. Oh, okay. The key wards form the outlines of letters E L F. Okay, yes. Ah. <clears throat> The elf. So the elf is where it plays in. You'll, if you read them in the correct order, you have seen an elf on your travels. It was somewhere quiet and out of place. Try room 11. That's the garage of the brilliant Steve. Indeed, if you look on the monitors in room 11, you find clues to find, to help you find the way out of the labyrinth. On the ceiling of the pharaoh's chamber, how could they relate? Uh, it was 11. So yes. Right here. L E L F. Sorry. I was looking for numbers, not letters, and I did see the E, I did see the L, I did see the F. But I wasn't going to write them down. Alright, so then. So if I go. Start from the scarab. Ah, oh, that's not help. All right. Uh, every monitor in Steve's garage shows a, a series of shapes. These shapes correspond to the paths of the scarab in the labyrinth and the pharaoh's chamber. But don't get confused. The white point always marks the starting point of the scarab on the monitor. Some of the shapes on the monitor are rotated, but they are never mirrored. Compare the shapes on the monitor with the maze. The chamber follow the path of the scarab. It ends a certain letter every time. Okay. There's a... Yes, there is one. Alright. So let's try that again. So the first one... And so I'll show you the, the picture here. again the Pharaoh's room so you can follow along Start from square go up, over, up, back, up. up. Are you? One, two, so there's a four letter, four letter word. So four has four letters. Three, two is two. Two has three. Three has one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Three. Six is a three letter. Seven. Three, four, five. Eight. Nine is a four letter. Kind of gives me clues of where they're possibly going. There's no I, so nine cannot be the the number. Uh, zero, could be the uh, zero has four. So Z. Yep. So the first one's zero, and the next one has a four-letter word. So I think the second one is four. 
zero, four, and then the last one has a three letter word. Zero four one. Let's try it. So we're gonna go down one, up one, down one, and we should have diamond, star, square. So there it is, number nineteen. All right. So that one was a little more tricky. Um, I hated having to go into the clues and the solution. Um, but if you look at the keys, they do represent letters. So like this one looks like an F here. Maybe you can see it better this way. It's a backwards F. And we have the E here. Uh, and then we have a L. You can see the outline of it. So, I would have thought maybe if you lined them up with the uh, the maze and the, and the ceiling that maybe it reveal a number. Uh, but clearly, it was spelling elf, which I thought elf was going to be a clue. There was a card uh, previous that had an elf on it too, so I'm wondering if that will be a clue. So yeah, um, I think it was a good. Uh, a good escape room, I think. Like it made me think a little bit more, uh, into the point where I needed to get some assistance. Which, like I said, that stinks. I hate having to get assistance from the book because I'd rather just try to do it myself. But hopefully, you enjoyed it. It made sense. Um, so I didn't actually spend a whole lot of time once I was looking at the uh the design of the computer screens because uh all I had to do was figure out the first letter. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of you know four-letter numbers you know or first uh, four-letter word that is a number should I say there's only so many and they don't all start with the same number or they don't all start with the same letter so hey thanks for tuning in see you guys next time and hope you like this clip all right the huge canary sleeps in the attic with the cookie eater checked the blue monster said he'd sleep in the bathtub checked and uh Ernie and Bird will bunk out with a lizard here. Uh, uh, Frog. Uh, Kermit the Frog. Uh, wh what about Oscar? No, I'll be nicely miserable with my trash can here. <clears throat> hey, maybe I could bunk out here with you. Uh, I never had a rat in my trash can before. That might be nice. <laughs> hey, everybody. Look what I've got. Christmas cookies. Cookies! Oh, thank you. Um, um, mm, mm, mm. Who was that strange blue creature? That my kind of fella. Ah. Hey, everybody, it's time to rehearse our Sesame Street pageant. It's called Was the Night Before Christmas. Come on out, Bert. I won't. Come on, Bert. All right, please don't make me. Oh, Bert, listen, everybody's waiting. <laughs> Ernie, why must you always humiliate me? Come on, Bert. Somebody has to play Mama, and you lost the toss. All right, well, just get it over with. Okay. <laughs> Twas the Night Before Christmas by Clement Moore. Hit it, Rolf. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Cue the mouse. I'm here. I'm here. Cue the mouse is here. What's a ball for? Oh, uh, so you can see that I am not stirring. Note how the hand never touches the spoon. Twas the Night Before Christmas by Clement Moore. Hit it, Rolf. Twas the Night Before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Cue the mouse. I'm here. I'm here. Cue the mouse is here. What's a ball for? Oh, uh, so you can see that I am not stirring. Note how the hand never touches the spoon. Thank you, thank you, thank you, public, thank you, oh, aren't they adorable? Oh, see, no, hey, I? don't um, encourage not them. Not even a mouse. Oh. Mama in her kerchief. That's you, Bert. I know, I know. And I and my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. Went out on the lawn there and rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Open a curtain! <laughs> Monsters as reindeer? This is crazy. And uh, where's where Santa Claus? Oh, don't worry, Bert. We're getting to him. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> it is not 
something sacred. Now, oh. wait a minute. Now, who let the two-headed monster be Santa Claus? Yeah, but Bertie said he'd never been in a play before. I mean, oh. they said it. I, both of them said it. Wait, just go to the big finish, will you, please? Okay, but I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas to all. And to all. But have you folks seen the weather? There's a real storm out there. Oh, Lordy, I haven't seen a sky like that since a blizzard of 41. I tell you, Mr. Lizard, it's a good thing all your friends are safe and warm inside the farmhouse. Yeah, but all my friends are not safe and warm. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. It's cold enough out there to freeze your Winnebago. Hello? Hello, Kermit. I finished my shopping. Unfortunately, Jerome got the limo stuck in the snowbank. <laughs> so I'll just have to catch a taxi to the farmhouse. Listen, Piggy, there's a terrible storm outside, and I really think it's too dangerous to travel. So why don't you wait for the storm to end before you join us? Nonsense! And miss my Christmas Eve with Boo? It's just a little bit of snow. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm sure Miss Piggy will be all right. Oh, come on.